Juicy Rome. It's what would happen if Smash TV and Plants vs. Zombies had a love child. The basic premise of the story is that humans and fruits and vegetables have sort of merged. Humanity's at risk and your team has to go explore a forest and kill a whole bunch of fruits and vegetables that are looking to kill you as well. Yeah, and I thought it was gonna be sort of creepy to see like mutant tomatoes and yeah. pears and stuff, but they were shockingly cute. It's a thoroughly adorable game. Mm -hmm. It's also like very calm, right? Like you're, you're shooting stuff and it's like somehow like very soothing and calm, which is sort of strange. Maybe it's because the characters are so cute. It's like gauntlet, but adorable. I think so, I agree with that. <laughs> In order to survive and actually beat the game, you have to continually kill enemies. Oh, there we go. And the more enemies you defeat, the better weapons you get, which means you are more equipped to survive. Which, when you're fighting watermelon. Is that what that was? I'm pretty sure that was a watermelon <laughs> with a rifle, yeah. Ooh, blueberries. Do watermelons grow on trees? <laughs> That's a serious question, by the way. No, they grow on vines. And I, we're also collecting coins along the way. So if you have, if you got the coin for yeah, it, you can... I got 46. How do I only have 14 dollars? I killed so many more than you. Because <laughs> I've been picking up all of the uh, coins no. that you leave behind. <laughs> it's really an adorable game. The artwork is fantastic. It's a roguelike game, so you only really have one life to live. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's a song in there somewhere. Oh! Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. I'm dead. I think I'm coming back to life. I thought there was no child left behind, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what did I do? Oh, I did. The developer said it should retail for about $10 when it's released later this year, uh, specifically this May. First on the PC, then hopefully for the PlayStation 4 and the Switch, and it might even be coming to mobile, which is gonna be wild. That does it for us from the Indie Mega Booth at GDC 2018. Be sure to stay tuned to Engadget.com all week for complete coverage of the Game Developers Conference. Thanks, everybody. Peace.